Well, it's a beautiful day here in Maine, middle of October. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. So if that's happening in Maine, it's already a good day. The only thing to make it better is if this is an actual bingo in the hole. I know it's round. It was a choppy signal. I may have hit it with my shovel, but I hope not. Might be a dandy, but it was bouncing all around. Oh, it's thin. I'm guessing it is a button. Yeah, it's a button. Big old dandy button. I lost my toothbrush last time. I don't see a chicken. I see maybe a star or something on there. Or a flower pattern. Huh. Well, yeah, there it is. It's starting to come out now. This is my first real significant find. I've been in this field before. There's a cellar hole right where that dip is, right here. And, uh, 1700s that's about all I know uh, the homes around it are late 1700s things like that so um, yeah so beautiful dandy button deep there's bricks in almost every hole pieces of shard all that wonderful stuff but this is a nice little dandy button Full shank all right it's a good day I wasn't sure if I was going to do any filming today or not. Uh, I filmed one other button already and I dug a bull ring. That's it so far. I've been out here maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. It's been slow. Targets are wicked deep. Grass is 6 to 12 inches long. and I think I may have another button here. This was kind of choppy. All my signals have been very choppy. Oh, what is that? It is a button. Full shank, off center. Looks like a little pattern here. Oh, I hope if I'm looking in through the camera so you all can see it. Nice little button. No idea how old this one might be, but I'm guessing probably early 1800s, 1700s, but who knows? I'll post it on ID.me and find out some more. All right, let's keep going. Well, this is interesting. It's cut. It's kind of round. I mean, it's cut right in line. But I don't know what this is. Oh, well. It's deteriorated, so I'm don't know if that would be a coin or what. It's thin on this side and kind of thicker in the middle. But, all right. Maybe we can find something else just a little better to show you. All right, let's keep going. Good thing I brought my lucky hat. Granted, it's lucky for fishing, but getting some signals here. Uh, choppy. Oops. Choppy signals. Um, so we're trying to put this pinpointer away. Uh, I got something round here. I don't know what it is. Thick. Might be a button, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Another button. Shank is broke. Oh, this is a tomback, I think. This might be a tomback. Nice one. Yeah, I think it is a tomback. That's a beauty. That's a nice old one. There we go. I don't know if I found a tomback curled up like that. Just kind of rubbing it off. Yeah, that's an old tomback right there. Might have a design on it. I don't know. But let's keep going. Let's see if we can find some more. I've got about an hour. All right, let's keep going. Nice. Might be a button day today. I just got a uh, repeatable 66. There's something round and green down in yonder. And a big old dandy. A 
with a little nipple on her. Oh, that's the shank. <laughs> Not a nipple. Jeez Louise. Bent over. Bent over. I can see edge here. Some sort of design on it. Again, I don't. I might have a toothpick. But I don't have. I don't think it's a chicken. But. Nice dandy. But I'll toothpick it real quick and then I'll come right back to you. If I can find a toothpick. Alright, let's do that. I'm going to have to show you the button at the end after I cleaned it up because I don't have any toothpicks. All I have are my Andre's pencils and I don't want to really mess up the button because there looks to be some sort of design on there. So I will show you when I get it cleaned up what the button looks like. Alright, without further ado, there's a cellar hole and let's see if we can keep finding some stuff around it. This is one of the smallest and strangest looking ox shoes I've ever found. Oops, there it is. I don't, I don't see any, well I guess there's some holes there, but it's so thin and it's just different. There's just something about it that's different, even if it is for like a little baby ox, but oh well, let's keep going. Not what I wanted, but I'll take her. So I found something pewter. It's just a piece of pewter. I don't see anything else here. Put my thing on. Oh, I don't know what this is, but maybe a pewter spoon or something. I don't know pieces of pewter something old that was deep though that was a good eight inches deep or eight to ten inches all right let's see if we can find something else i think it's a pocket knife of some sort maybe or maybe the handle to a knife and i can see where a piece of wood be latched on but normally the pocket knives are the same width on each end so maybe this was like a switchblade or something I don't know whoops gotta have butterfingers well that's it that's one side that's the other side if anybody has any clue let me know all right let's keep it rolling I think I might have just found something super cool it was uh, about a 63 to 66 signal and I was expecting like a button or something like that or junk as that's just where my day's been going. I popped the plug and I can see some design on whatever it is. I'm thinking it's a spoon bowl. Right there. Oh, it is a spoon. There's the, there's the handle. Oh, do I have, the, I've got the entire spoon. <gasps> boy, oh boy. Oh, I thought it might have been something a little fancier, but look at that. That's a beautiful little, I'm going to call it a kid spoon. Nice. Maybe it's a sugar spoon or something like that. I can see a B at the top. If I can get this thing to focus, there's the B. Let's see if I clean the top of that. B, B and C. Huh. That's pretty sweet. I don't know if this is pewter. I think this is pewter. It's got a nice little seashell at the bottom of it. I don't think there's any more writing. Nope, but that's a beautiful spoon. Oh, looks like there might be some maker's marks here, maybe. Yeah. The mud's kind of caked in them. I'll see if I can get the dirt out of that. Maker's mark right there. Well, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna clean this up and uh, see how fancy she really is. Nice. Take that all day, all day. Nice. All right, let's keep going. 
So real quick, I cleaned up the maker's mark and it's ML. If anybody knows what that is or how old that might be. ML maker's mark with a B and C at the top and a seashell. All right, let's keep going. Might have got a bingo, I don't know yet. It was at the very top of the plug and it's so hard to read the depth of this place because the grass is so tall. It's six to eight inches anyway. And it said it was six inches down and then I pushed it straight out of there and over to there and I haven't looked at it yet to see what it is. It may not even be a coin, it might just be a button. No, it's a, I thought it was big. It's a stinking Lincoln, 1979. <laughs> 